Hello, Hello. and welcome to Really Random Rants, the show where we do just Just that. that. I'm McFly. I'm Victoria. And I am Kid Visto. And we are the Random People. The Random People. The Random People. And today we're doing another Universes. So, uh, we are going to tell you our characters for today's Universes. 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 All right, you go first. I have chosen the character of Smog, the dragon. I have chosen Martian Manhunter, Jean Jones. I have chosen the Jean. Ranker Monster Jean. from Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. And it's basically just a big creature. That's a mixture between a bear and a potato. So, yes. first contest, popularity. Okay, so... Definitely not mine. <laughs> Most people don't even know what it's called. Anyway, because it's not even mentioned in the movie. Anywho. It's that giant thing that tries killing Lou. That gets smashed under a gate. Anywho. Um, I am going to start off with Smaug. Um, I think that Smaug takes this one by, by a landslide yeah. because he's... Just so popular. Martian Manhunter deserves to be popular, <laughs> but he's not. Um, he 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 was by landslide, especially due to the fact that he was recently featured in a very big movie. Yeah. Though yeah. I could just be saying Martian Manhunter deserves it because he's the character I'm going for. But he he does deserve to be more popular. Anywho, he so, yeah. doesn't. He, he, he's, <laughs> he's not, not. more popular. So small gr- wins. By far. And then, ran- if we did a second place for this thing, it would be the rank R, but really? we don't. No, a lot of people don't even know who Martian Manhunter yeah. is. Well, yeah. Like a lot of Master people know. Griggs, but for, <laughs> no, for popularity, it would be. Most definitely. Wow. The rank R. Now, for name. It's hard to say. But anyway, we don't do second place here. We don't care, but actually, we just not do. Okay. <sighs> so, so, second contest. Second contest. What was that one? Oh, strength, and then the third contest is weaknesses. Strength. It's... We'll let Dr. S- well, <laughs> flashback moment. Um, do, do, do. No, I'm just kidding. Let's just... I'm sorry, I forget your name. Victoria. Victoria, that's your name, but with you a name H. You named me. Yeah. Kind of. No, you can't. Not name really. Me. I named myself. No. <laughs> you just said I should do it for this. But let's see. So, by far, like Smog is definitely extremely powerful. And, but so is Manager. I mean, and um, the Ranker. So it's hard because the Ranker, it's. Eats people for breakfast, just say, lunch, just and say supper. Why the rancor? One should win, and what like Bill? Fuck her up. It should win Fuck because it's awesome, and it's from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably because it's well. It ate a gourmet and guard like it was it nothing. Ate, yeah, it ate these like weird like pig things, pig like creature I things. No pupils. And <laughs> It None ate, of us have. Oh, I have pupils. It ate um, them, and it, it's like it's it, it also ate it, a green chick, ate, didn't it? And, and yeah, and it almost ate Luke Skywalker. Almost one of the most powerful Jedi around. <laughs> the only Jedi around at that time. The funny thing is, I'm not even doing a creepy smile. It's just because of the shadow. It looks creepy on screen, but I'm just like. Fuck her up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um. Because this isn't a creepy smile at all. <laughs> Actually, it very much is. Anyway, why do you think that... No, Mar- look, this is what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> Martian Manhunter, why should he win? Okay. Okay. He can turn himself into anything he wants to. Not like Beast Boy, where he can turn into certain animals. He yeah. can turn into literally any. Thing. Anything, any person. He could turn into a feather duster if he wanted to. He could turn into God Godzilla. Okay, okay, know. okay. Let's just say there's no way we can beat him. <laughs> well, there's his weakness. Hold up. See what I did there? You don't know, but you know what I was doing for my character? Weaknesses? <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, his powers include... Telepathy, telekinesis, the ability 
uh, malleable shape, which means he can shape shift. Um, um, he can face through walls. He has super speed, not as fast as Flash, but still super speed. Super. It's yeah. it's basically he can move faster than the eye can see. That still. Um, super strength. Uh, he's actually more powerful than Superman. Like legit, he beat the crap out of almost the entire Justice League in a, in one comic book, didn't he? Okay. So. Uh, but there's one problem, what? which we can't say yet, because we need to hear Smog's. Smog's abilities are, first of all, he's so incredibly terrifying. That's one of the main things that he has going for him. Just his scare factor. And he's Benedict Cumberbatch, so... <laughs> um, also, um, so... That's one thing. He has the ability to breathe fire. <laughs> uh, um, and he's almost invincible. So. There we go. Uh, the only place where he is invincible is in his underbelly. Which, when he's flying... I think that's a big design flaw. Flying around. Okay. Very vulnerable. Unless he's doing like a whole dragon curl up his legs. That's actually pretty t typical. Alright, so... This seems like a pretty good fight uh, with exactly. Martian Man on Troop in the lead until <laughs> we weaknesses. <get> weaknesses. <laughs> My one's only weakness is Luke Skywalker. And the Gates. <laughs> <laughs> Gates. Or in Lego games, Han Solo. Because somehow he was in there in the Lego game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what did he do in the Lego game? Shot down pigs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. So, what are the weaknesses of Martian Manhunter? Fire. That's, that's the only thing that can hurt him, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's a bummer because I'm have a fire breathing dragon. Yeah. Anywho. But you know what? My Martian Man Hunter can get into the dry smog if he wanted to. And he can face through the fire. Can he face through fire? Mm -hmm. I don't think he can. Yeah. That would make his weakness kind of tired. pointless. What? Alright, anyway. So, your, so, smog's weakness? Smog's weakness is if you hit him with a black arrow in his underbelly. Or an arrow. Um, it has to be an arrow, yeah. Well, then... My man hunter could form into a bow and arrow, but shoot himself. But then he would get, then he would breathe out the fire, and he would just like, no longer an arrow. So I think this is a pretty close one, but you know. Also, Martian Manhunter has super speed, so he can get in there pretty quickly. Yeah. But then you also have to remember, he's also almost completely invincible. Which one, Martian Manhunter or Smog? Both of them, but I'm, uh, I'm talking about Smog. The Rancor wins Both. by default. <laughs> Both of them are... They battle almost. each other so the Rancor escapes forever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think the Rancor wins, sorry. Okay, so let's do a play-by-play -play of what we think would happen if they were to fight. What, what are we doing for this? Okay, so we're going to we're going to do basically a play by play of what would probably happen. Okay, so Martian Manhunter would first of all he would learn as much as he could about um uh, the dragon, which I think is one of his great greatest allies because he has the ability to learn whatever he needs to know and. He can also read minds too, so he could read what Smog was thinking. He could Smog's next move. No, no, but doesn't he have like a a great um uh, invulnerability to telepathic attacks? Yeah. So then he wouldn't be able to read his mind. But the kids love me. Who loves you? The kids. The kids love me. Love you or the Rancor? Both. <laughs> I don't think that anyone loves the Rancor. Um, the kids do. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, the kids. Look, nine minutes. The we got to. We got to determine this first. Fast. Okay. Uh, remember the good old days when we used to ask people to comment? We would still do that, but there was one problem with it. What? People never commented who they thought would win. Well, you could get Palpatine, but for the whole Palpatine battle, when I chose Palpatine, he would for the battle, the it would be a bias. And he would choose Rancor, too. That's the point. Anyway. He'll choose all of mine, because mine are stuck. 
uh, sci-fi, mostly Star Wars. Anyway, we're moving on. I personally think that... Okay, so we better hurry up and make this yes. happy. So I think, in my personal opinion, not simply due to the fact that it's mine, but I think after analyzing the pros and cons of both of each of them, I personally think that Smaug the Dragon would win. But let's hear the rest of your opinions. I think that what if Manhunter turned into another... Yeah, he could Smog turn into, into the dragon. or to something bigger. Yeah, I mean Godzilla. You already said he could turn into Godzilla. And Godzilla's radioactive breath would probably would be. Yeah, would and he be could if he does it fast enough. He could do it before Smog no figures out that his weakness is fire. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Smog also Smog knows nothing about Martian Manhunter. Martian yeah. Manhunter could know absolutely everything about Smog. The including his vulnerability under the belly. Yeah. The only reason Smog would use the fire is because that's one of his main abilities. abilities. <laughs> but also Martian Manhunter has the ability to cloak himself. So I serious uh, never mind, I'm switching it up. I I seriously think that Martian Manhunter No! He doesn't have the ability to cloak himself because Smog has I look dead. A slow has a slight telepathic ability, doesn't he? Like he could sense that he that Bilbo was in the room. Yeah. But that could even be by smell too. Uh, but even then, Martian Manhunter cannot ca True. cover up the smell, and he'd be like. But then you have the co confusion factor of Smog. He'd be like, "What is that?" I've never experienced this before. So, I seriously think that Martian Manhunter... Okay. I seriously think I'm not going vote because I would automatically go with Martian Manhunter and it probably would be from biased opinion whether I want to admit it or not. Yeah, for my smog idea, it was probably just a biased opinion because I wasn't thinking about everything. Okay, so, Victoria? I say it probably would be Manhunter. Manhunter. Because he could, he could be smog if he turned into, like, Godzilla or something. Yeah. Or the Riker! Or the Riker! <laughs> yeah, I can turn the Riker! Wait, can he turn into energy? Two Rikers beat you! <laughs> can we just Riker battle it out? <laughs> Alright, well, okay. But I guess we determined Martian Manhunter has won. So, this coming Monday, we are going to be doing an facts. episode about facts about Martian Manhunter. Man. Some you would know, some you won't. If you know Martian Manhunter's character, you might not even if know some of that. If you know absolutely nothing about Martian Manhunter, watch the video. We'll also give a brief backstory to the character. Yeah. Well, it might go pretty extensively. So that might be a pretty long episode. So, please like, comment, subscribe, share, follow us on Google+. Plus. Follow us on Twitter. Like our Facebook page. Become part of the Relay right on Fandom. <sighs> Hashtag Deb did it first. Live long and prosper. May Live force. <laughs> May the force, force be with, with you, you and have a really, really random day. day. What happened? I